Hey guys, we wanted to show you how our rear-facing LEDs come in our headache racks and what you need to do to wire them once you receive it. So when it comes, they're already going to be pre-installed in the grommet and sitting in their headache rack here, so it, it won't come out. Um, so you want to get a, a, a rounded uh, tool, such as a spoon here from the kitchen. You s gently slide it down in there, pretty far down in, so you catch an edge, and then you just lift up on it here, like that, get it most of the way out, and then and then pull it out the rest of the way. So the, it's going to come like this with the pigtail as part of the light. So you pull that out. <clears throat> and then up inside here, I'll remove this grommet. It just squeezes together and pulls out is a hole that, uh, that you can chase the wires down through this outer tube and then pop them out through this hole here and drop it in between the bed and cab of your truck. So once you get the wires chased and, and hooked up, you want to make sure that you get your grommet in here first. It's very important that you put your grommet in. It will not go in together when they're put together at the same time. So you got to put your grommet in first. Then you, you know, get your uh, wiring and everything down in there. Make sure it's all the way behind the grommet. You slip one end in and then you just push down and it pops right in like that. Now it's locked in there like that. So. Uh, that's how you wire our rear-facing LEDs, and, and uh, you can wire that from in between the cab and the bed straight to your uh, harness, or you can take it clear to the back bumper and hook in where your trailer lights hook up.